So, do people spend a lot of time in their cars? <gasps> Pretty much everyone, right? It's like people who go to office, the parents, the kids, like everyone spend time in cars every day. Well, new technologies have already improved the experiences of riding in the car, we realized that we could take that to the next level with augmented and virtual reality. We're thinking, how can we help people, right? So that they can do a lot more things, be, you know, more productive and social and entertaining for them. So in 2021, we teamed up with the research team at BMW. Our goal at BMW is to continuously explore new technologies, not only to build the ultimate driving machine, but also to create the ultimate driving experience. We began to look at how to integrate AR into our cars more than 10 years ago. And we teamed up with Meta's research team to test their AR and VR technology with our vehicle ecosystems. You might assume that it is simple to deliver virtual experiences to passengers. But it's not so easy. Tracking in a fast-moving vehicle is a problem that had not been solved till now. Moving vehicles pose a challenge because the sensors get conflicting signals from the device's motion within the car and the car's motion within the world, which means it can't display stable virtual content. To solve this, we collaborated with BMW to incorporate information from a BMW car sensor array into the tracking system of our Project ARIA research glasses. The collaboration enabled Meta to create an in-vehicle tracking system that simultaneously calculates the device's location relative to the car and the moving car's location relative to the world. And that's a huge feat because it enables us to accurately anchor virtual objects to a car even when it's moving. Is this a big deal? That's a pretty big deal, yeah. <laughs> we are excited about this progress because this could mean the starting point for integrating AR devices into our connected vehicle ecosystems. And eventually, this could mean that travel is going to be more enjoyable, more social and productive, more relaxing, or more fun. It's too early to tell how this uh, research will make it into the hands of consumers. But together with BMW, we imagine a time when we're using this AR and VR devices in all types of moving vehicles. A time where these devices help us in all sorts of ways, from alerting drivers to hazards on the road, or providing parking and navigation assistance, as well as hands-free communication and entertainment. And that's really exciting. And that's the future we see coming down the road. <laughs>